Fog Swaddle Vontre is bursting with classics during Pebble Beach Weekend A Porsche 356 Woo! Subtly perfect in gloss silver over deep red, and a Maserati sit in front of a sushi joint across the street. A BMW E9 naps while its owner shot the few pedestrians here on Lighthouse Avenue are gawking at the Range Rover gliding by we haven't driven this British Camaro in the US yet. Our first drive was in the UK, so we took this opportunity to drive the Eva convertible around the peninsula for the weekend to see what the reaction on the street from real live Americans would be. Even in municipal fleet white with as anonymous a black soft top as they come, this thing groups bystanders to the curb and sends out tractor beams to draw their eyes to its flanks. You'd think these people had never seen a convertible crossover before. If you want anonymity, park yourself in an orange mirror next to a white Eric Cabrio, maybe in another era this tall. Retractable roof oddity sharing a brand name with a rugged British icon wouldn't draw so much attention, but today, Flash is in. This is sheer spectacle, basically a row joining Cirque du Soleil trembling into view as the townies stroll home from the cantina suddenly its full body leotards and strange lights and they're stacking a bunch of chairs and would you believe that Range Rover over there is a convertible? The grey Porsche, dignified and understated, is invisible I can believe it, because the convertible arguably works better than the coupe it's a practical package with a hell of a party trick. Those rear seats aren't for show. Real humans who aren't professional contortionists can fit comfortably behind a realistically sized driver on 5 feet 10 inches and slightly built, and if you cloned me, four of us would be comfortable in there, top up or down, for a couple hours body type spree, as will your own experience. But the rear accommodations are generous for a vehicle the size the biggest gripe from the rear seats isn't a lack of headroom, it's fine. Not generous but adequate, but rather the lack of a place to put your outboard elbow other than a strange hollowed out spot in the hull, 